Blessed be your name, Lord. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Elohim. We worship you. We glorify you. Jesus' precious name. From this altar of prayer, Lord, we thank you. Blessed be your name, Adonai. Psalm 65 and verse 1. He said, Praise waited for thee, O God, in Zion. And unto thee shall the vow be performed. We have come, to, Lord, to perform the vow of thanksgiving, the vow of praise for all of your wonders, for miracles, for signs, for intervention around the world from this altar. Be glorified in Jesus. Mighty name we are giving thanks in Isaiah 42 and verse 22. Isaiah 42 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are of them snared in holes and they are hid in peace houses and they are for a plea and not delivered it and for a spoil and not say restore. Lord, tonight from this altar we ask for restoration of all things. Lord, restoration of the fire, restoration of passion, restoration of miracles, restoration 
ground of all that you have installed that the enemy has claimed or the year the cantaworm the caterpillars have eaten Lord restored tonight and for your servant we ask for grace we ask for prophetic accuracy Lord anoint him afresh and empowered him oh Lord to bring deliverance confirm the word of your servant in the name of Jesus somebody give the Lord a praise tonight make a call to somebody wake up somebody right now they cannot afford to be asleep at this hour of prayer and God will bless you in the name of Jesus hallelujah give God a praise as we on the place team hallelujah somebody give Jesus a shout of praise come on now walk 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 give Jesus a dance of praise Woo. come on now
Seated. I want to welcome everyone to these midnight prayers, commanding the day midnight prayers. I want you to send somebody the link. You can go to our YouTube and send the link to somebody, send to a friend, send to a family member. And I again welcome everyone on behalf of God's servant, our father in the Lord, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenchi, and our mother in the Lord. Uh, we are going to have a few testimonies. Uh, right now. Hallelujah. Testimony from Sister Josephine from Joss. Above only, that is my place. I want to appreciate God for the healing, for healing me of waist pain. There was a lady from Joss that testified about her healing from waist pain after giving birth through CS. I was going through the same pain after giving birth to my third child through CS, through CS2, I came into her testimony and brethren since then, till eternity, that pain was gone. Secondly, in one of the, mid, in one of the night, the senior pastor mentioned a case related to me saying, the Lord will vindicate you from the spirit of false accusations and misinterpretation I have been falsely accused by my family members and misunderstood for years but since my case was mentioned things have turned around in my favor my life and business have also experienced the same favor people are patronizing me like never before it's as if a veil was lifted from my life I want to appreciate God for the deliverance and putting my word in the mouth of God's servant. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. That is a good place to play that clip. And remember Joseph or Josephine and the mystery of Joseph around them. Right. Give the Lord a big clap of hand in Jesus' name. Second testimony. Testimony from peace from Abakeleke Ebony State. Good evening, my commanding the day midnight family. Glory. God has done it for my sister. She, brought, she bought a land about two years ago. And after a while, some people came claiming ownership of the land. She then called the person who sold the land to her, telling him about the encroachment and requested that her money be refunded back to her. The man kept on telling her stories and on top upon. And on top of it, started avoiding, excuse me, her call. And, and on top of it, started avoiding her cause. She reached out to me and told me, I told her to send his name to me and join me so that we nail the case in the commanding the day midnight prayer, mm. knowing fully, fully well that this was a small case for God to handle. Throughout that season, God's servant kept on declaring every system holding what belongs to you. Lose their peace, sleep, and rest. People of God, not up to one week, she called me back 
and told me the man called and requested for her account number and paid the money in full. Glory to Jesus. I am not taking this for granted. I have come to return all the glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I am equally believing God for my fruit of the womb and permanent financial breakthrough for me and my husband. To God be all the glory. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. I decree today, every man owing you, they shall come under pressure, lose peace, sleep and rest until what is yours is released in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, call somebody and let them be connected to tonight's prayer. Text message alone will not wake a sleepy person. So put a call through to the person so they can be connected. More testimonies. Testimony from Sister B.I.J. from Canada. Good day, my brethren. And they commanding the day midnight prayer. Above only, that's my place. I have come to return all the glory to God. Almighty, who does wonders on this prayer altar? My husband and I discovered that one of our land documents was missing around April 2023. When we wanted to make use of it and we couldn't find it, we searched for it everywhere and it became a concern to us. We began the search and on a daily basis and praying over it till we left Nigeria in December 2023. January this year, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche started making declarations on missing documents. I will pray along and wish that I was still in Nigeria. Maybe a miracle would happen, would have happened, but in this case, I had already left the country. Whenever people testify of recovering missing documents, I will be happy for them, but I felt there was no hope for mine. Brethren, God did it when I least expected. Last week, my elder sister called me that she saw a land document and received in an abandoned side mirror, mirror cupboard that she had parked outside her house for over a year now. That she went to her backyard and a voice told her, why can't you open this cupboard and check? You, you, can, you can never tell. You never can tell. Behold, she opened it and the second thing she saw inside was land document and a receipt. That was when she called me and said, I am snapping it and sending it to you if it's the same document you have been looking for. And she, and she said, sis, if this is what you have been looking for, honestly, I do not know how it got there. That cupboard has been outside there for over a year now. I just referred her to the fact that Pastor the pastor has been making brutal declarations regarding missing documents on commanding the day midnight prayer. And God has answered my prayer. It can only be God. Indeed, those who were the missing land documents wow. who were searching for and have come to return all glory wow. to God who has done it. Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Nothing is too lost to be found. Yes. We say that all the time. Nothing is too... If David can recover the, the lamb from the mouth of a lion, Anything can be found. And I prophesy today, they shall be found in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony from Sister Josephine D. Above only, that's my place. I have come to return all the glory to God for healing me of a scary, intense feeling I had on my right breast and right okay. underarm. It felt as though there was a swelling under my right arm. I would feel the pain from that spot and it would radiate to my right breast and underarm. I have felt it for over a month now and it was becoming scary. The thought of breast cancer kept coming to my mind. But I would pray against it and confess positively. During the commanded the day midnight prayer, our father in the Lord, Dr. Pastor Paul Enentia declared, and I quote, that breast condition on the right breast that looks like it goes into the un armpit also it's a growth i cause it right now i command it to dry up wherever that arrow came from and you are now afraid could this be cancer could this be death i cause it to its root you shall fulfill your days that was the end of it 
I have not, I have not felt it another time. I thank God for it is gone forever. God bless the entire commanding the day midnight prayer crew. May God reward your tireless effort. Amen. What Declaration a attached. Wow. That breast condition on the right breast that looks like it goes into the armpit also with the growth. I curse it right now. I command it to dry up. Wherever that arrow came from, and you are now afraid, could this be cancer? Could this be death? I curse it to its roots. You shall fulfill your days. And as I speak right now, you check it now. It disappeared. Give the Lord a big clap. Stand up on your feet and let us celebrate. Celebrate. Give him the praise. Why come and see what the Lord has done for? Come on, come on, come on. He has taken away my souls and I'll be free. Ah, come on. Sing. I got me, but hallelujah. Para, 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 para. Sing because of Jesus, because of what he does. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate God again. Please ensure that someone's story will change tonight because you were involved in inviting them. Ensure that someone is here because of you. Let's take the next segment of testimonies. A testimony from Sister Patience G. She said, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to thank God for using our father, Dr. Paul Enencha, to heal me from a big growth that caused me kidney infection. Sometime last year, the doctor confirmed the diagnosis when I complained about the pain I was feeling on my left side of the abdomen. And he prescribed drugs for me to take, but after taking the drugs, nothing changed. I was still feeling the, the same pain, so I just left everything to God. And I was also believing God for the fruit of the womb. In one of the um, nights, pastor mentioned that there is someone that has been healed from left side kidney and liver disease. I shouted amen, believing that it was my own turn to be healed. Immediately, I couldn't feel the pain again. I told my husband that night that I was going to the hospital for a confirmatory test the next day. Um, and to the glory of God, God did it. The, I, I beg your pardon? And to the glory of God, I did the test and the results showed no kidney issues anymore. The doctor said, Madam, Everything has cleared. Oh, thank you, Jesus. She has a test result to show for it. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Every affliction in your body goes today in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony from Gideon AA from Abuja. He said, Above only, that is my place. I want to appreciate what God is doing on this prayer altar using the senior pastor, Pastor Paul Enenche. On the 26th of February 2024, God used the senior pastor to declare that he saw a name that has a bar, B-A-R, at the end. And he was wondering what kind of name, Irabo or crossbar. Um, Ayomba. Ayomba, okay. <laughs> oh, I said Irabo, sorry. Ayomba. I have a neighbor, the person testifying said, I have a neighbor called Ayomba. God's servant said, God's servant said he saw darkness around, around the family and the community, but the light of God is shining upon him and will pick him out like Joseph. His second name is also Joseph. And the limitation is broken. I sent the video to, that, uh, to my neighbor immediately, and he was so surprised. This is amazing because the declaration was so precise and accurate 
for the gentleman and we believe that God has handled his situation. I always, I always ask God in my personal supplication to send a word through God's servant to us. I believe that my personal testimony will be next as I believe God for an open door, for open doors for my printing business, marital breakthrough um, for my elder sister who is of age and fruit of the womb for my brother and his wife. Amen. Let's see that declaration. I see, I see a, 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 a darkness, a darkness engulfing the whole of your family, your community. But the light of God is shining upon you like a Joseph and picking you out and picking you out and picking you out and causing you to be a voice. And the limitation is broken. Hey! So, so Joseph, give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. God is picking somebody out like that in the name of Jesus. Amazing. As amazing as this is, God is about to do something for somebody as well in the name of Jesus. Have you ever heard the name Ayomba? I haven't. Never. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's take a few more testimonies and then we'll go on to pray. Eunice E from Abuja says, the God of Dunamis has done it all. She has come back like that one leper to thank and appreciate God for breaking the yoke in her life. She has searched for a job for five years since she lost her former job. Things got so bad that she had to beg before they could eat. She had fasted for 21 days as declared, yet nothing happened. Pastor kept prophesying and she believed all and trusted God for a turnaround. On the 21st slash 22nd of February 2024, pastor declared that someone will receive an urgent call to receive a letter of appointment and a lot and that thing that they are trusting God for. She shouted, Amen. Very early in the morning of the 23rd of February, she was surprised to receive an urgent call to come and collect her appointment letter. She went for the said job interview since last year, 2023. But there was no feedback from that office after that. Yet, she kept trusting God. But to the glory of God, she has now received her appointment letter to work with the federal government. This midnight prayer altar is working. Oh, God bless you all for your tireless efforts towards kingdom advancement and the liberation of lives and destinies. Declaration video is attached. I speak to me that alert you will expect it. You can use your own as a point of contact. That may you been expect. That call, positive, profitable call. I declare today, the system responsible, they shall lose their peace, sleep and rest until that call arrives, until that alert arrives, until that invitation arrives, until that it within another 24 hours. In fact, someone will be testifying in today, Thursday, commanding the day midnight prayers. That that call came, that text came, that alert came. In the name of Jesus. Amazing. And that's exactly what happened the very next day her testimony manifested. Let's take one more and then we proceed. Sister A. E. From Potakot says, Good morning, beloved family. This God is truly amazing. He never fails. Whatever he declares through his servant always comes to pass. On, on the 23rd of January, 2024, she introduced her younger brother to this prayer platform that very day. Pastor Paul Enenche made a declaration mentioning her brother's name. Father, I thank you for Jesse. The one who holds the key of David is opening your door. He further proclaimed, others have been passing by, but you have been standing there. I declare you are stepping into your door, into what is rightfully yours. My brother 
who was studying in the United States, had completed his nursing program and applied for a work permit, which was delayed for unknown reasons. This situation burdened them, leading them to dis d introduce him to this prayer platform. They prayed and trusted God to intervene so he could find part-time work to support himself while waiting for his nursing license examination. To their greatest surprise, Jehovah Overdo over answered their prayers. <laughs> Not only did God grant him the work permit, he was also called earlier than expected to take his nursing license examination, which he passed successfully. What started as a search for a work permit to manage bills turned into receiving his nursing license, a job offer as a nurse, and the hospital even offered to file for his green card. Hey! 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 Truly, there is God on this altar who hears and answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. Declaration is attached. Father, I give you the praise. I give you the honor for Jesse. Jesse, Mahoshifre to Lagadista. I declare God. today the, the, the one who has the key of David that opens and no man shuts. And shuts and no man opens. He's opening your door. You are standing behind the door that seems locked. Other people pass and enter, but you are standing there locked out. I declare you, I declare you stepping into your door, into what is yours in the name. And I apply this word to everybody. Every door that is your door, others are passing by you and entering. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you are wondering, even people you are helping are going ahead of you. People you know the things more than are going ahead of you. I prophesy today that door is open. Amen. Wow. The same day Jesse was introduced to the prayer. The same day. Stand on your feet and let's celebrate this awesome God. Awesome God. Let's go, 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 go. away and I'd like you to pray with every power, every energy and every faith that as God is hearing these prayers, he's also answering. Wake up your friends, wake up your loved ones, wake up somebody and let them be part of the prayer. Look at Jesse, the first day he joined the prayer, the prayer that all the family had been praying, God answered it on the spot. God is about to do somebody's own in Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 1, Lamentations 3 verse 22. And 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lift up your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the arrival, for the arrival of this new month. This new month. Thank, you, thank you, Lord, Lord for the fresh for arrival, the arrival of the breath, the, breath, the, strength, the strength, life, life faithfulness, faithfulness, and mercy. And be glorified, glorified O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father, Father, thank you thank for, you the, arrival for the arrival of this new month. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for the fresh arrival. 
favor, of the of breath, of strength, of life, of faithfulness, and mercies. Be glorified, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 24. Ephesians 6, I beg your pardon. Isaiah 65 verse 24. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Amen. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Let's read it together. Now, now unto him, him that, is that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Lift up your voice and say, Father, thank you for your wonderful acts in our midst from the beginning of the year on this prayer altar. We thank you for all you will do tonight. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, 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 we thank you, we thank you for your wonderful for your acts wonderful in our midst from the beginning of the year on this prayer altar. Thank you for all that you will do tonight. Be glorified, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. In Jesus' name. Proverbs 19, 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of God that shall stand. Luke 10, 18 and 19. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Lift up your voice and say, Father, we bring into immediate defeat every enemy plan and program, agenda to counteract, to counterfeit, to antagonize, to undermine or confront your acts in our midst. We decree their instant failure. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. We come against every counteraction, every antagonism, every undermining, every confrontation of your acts in our midst. In the name of Jesus, we declare every such enemy plans are instantly failed. In the name of Jesus, we look up to you and we want you to be praised. Let's attack in Jesus' name. 
Psalm 110, verse 2 and 3. Let's read together. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. The people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness, from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Lift up your voice and pray and say, Father, we step into this new day with the might and the power of the Lord to rule and triumph over the enemies today, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we step into this new day with the might and the power of the Lord to rule and triumph over the enemies. Today, O oh Lord, oh in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Let of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 4. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Amen. Psalm 121 verse 1 will read all the way to the end. Let's read together. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made the heaven and the earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore Amen. hallelujah Amen. lift up your voice and say father, father we declare, we declare this, new day, this new day my day of hope, day of hope in, the in the lord and help and from, above. from above i shall never, I shall never be, a be a victim of enemy wrath oh lord. lord in the name of jesus name father I declare, I declare this new day, this new day my day, my day of, hope of hope in the Lord, in the Lord and help I from above. I shall never I be a victim be a of enemy wrath. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Let us Kayana, let us Kalanana, let us Okoshaka, let us Kalanana, let us Tetele, let us Kalanana, let us Okosheke, let us Kalanana, let us Okosaka. We shall never be victims. The child shall never be victims. The individual, the members shall never be victims of enemy wrath. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Let's read together. I said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. James chapter 1 and verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Lift up your voice tonight and say, Father, Father I, take I take full delivery of every blessing of, every blessing of, yours, of yours laid up for me in heavenly places. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
I receive direction, unction, provision, preservation. Oh Lord, Father, I take full delivery of every blessing of yours laid up for me in heavenly places. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I receive direction, unction, provision, preservation. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. precious name. The Bible made it very, very clear that before we ask, he answers. And we have witnessed that. Look at James again, chapter 1 and in verse 17. He said, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light with whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning. I'm going to pray that prayer number six again. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, take full delivery I take full delivery of every blessing of yours laid up for me in heavenly places. Heavenly places. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I receive direction, direction unction, provision, 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 preservation. preservation. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. say, Father, Father, I take full delivery, I take full delivery of, every of every blessing of yours, of yours. Laid, up laid up for me in heavenly places. In, heavenly places. in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. I, receive I receive direction, unction, unction provision, provision, preservation. preservation. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, name of open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 147 and in verse 15. He said, he sent forth his commandment upon the earth. His word runneth very swiftly. We're going to pray, Father, we ask that your word will run swiftly Amen. and produce desired results. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your word released, released on this prayer altar this, prayer altar, this, morning, this morning will run, will run swiftly, swiftly throughout the air, producing desired results. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. You can say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your word released release on this prayer altar this, prayer altar, this morning this will run, run swiftly throughout the air, producing desired results. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'd like you to wake someone, someone up at this moment. We're about to demand, de demolish satanic altars and agenda. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 33. He said, the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. 
but he blessed the habitation of the just. Amen. Father, let the cause delete them. Delete their agenda in today. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your curse, curse will delete, delete the wicked the and their wickedness and their from manifesting their purpose, their purpose in our lives in our life. today, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your curse, your curse will delete, will delete the, wicked the wicked and their wickedness and their from manifesting their purpose in our lives today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, lift your voice and pray. Jesus precious name Amen. the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus name Amen. Numbers 14 37 even those men that did bring up the evil report upon the land died by the plague every devil that is trying to create evil report around your life this day they die Amen. this day they die Amen. read that passage again even those men that did bring up the evil report upon the land, they died by the plague Amen. before the Lord. Every force of hell that is trying to rob your life with bad news, today they expire. Amen. In the name that is above every name, he said in Isaiah chapter 54 and in verse 17, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that is rising to bring evil news about you, Thou shall condemn. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, your of your judgment of fire, of fire on every evil order, structure, structure, structure installation, installation, institution, institution entity, 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 personality, personality priest, 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 or device, or device position, position for bad news, for bad news evil report, evil report or, manifestation or manifestation against our lives. Today, Today, we declare them roasted, roasted by fire, fire. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Say, Jesus. Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, your of your judgment of fire, of fire. on every evil altar, evil, evil, evil structure, structure installation, installation, institution, institution entity, entity, personality, personality priest, priest, or device, or device position, position for bad news, for bad news evil, report, evil report, or manifestation, or manifestation against our lives. Against our lives. Today, Today, we declare them roasted by fire. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name amen. The Lord heard and answered us amen. Can you say amen like you believe it amen. First Samuel chapter 30 And in verse 19 And there was nothing lacking to them yes. Neither small nor great Neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that they are taking to them. David recovered all. Amen. How many things are you about to recover? All. How many things are you going to recover? All. There are two dimensions of restoration. The restoration of the thing the devil stole from you. Then there is also the restoration of the things the devil kept back from you. Mm. There are things that haven't entered your hands yet, but they are yours. 
and the devil held them back. Am I communicating? Which one among them do you want restoration? Oh. Hey! Oh. Which one among them do you want restoration of? Oh. Now lift your voice and say, Father, oh. I ask for the complete recovery. Both. Both of all, all that, the that the enemy took from me, took from me and, all and all that he will tell from, from me before now. Before I, now. Receive I receive restoration, restoration. in the name of Jesus. Name Say, Father, Father I, ask I ask for the complete, for the complete recovery, recovery. Both, both of all, all that the enemy that took from me took and, from all, and all, all that he will tell from, from me before now. Before I receive now. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name amen. if you believe the Lord heard and answered or shout the Lord and say amen. amen Isaiah chapter 32 and in verse 15 he said until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness be a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for a forest that is the revival we are experiencing that's the revival we are expecting that's the revival that we are growing into. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will pour, you pour your, spirit your spirit from on high, from on high upon, us, upon us, converting, converting our, wilderness our wilderness into a fruitful field, field, field and our fruitful field, field, field into a forest. Into a forest. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will pour, you pour your, spirit your spirit from on high, from on high upon us, us converting convert our wilderness into a fruitful field and our fruitful field into a forest. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. My whole shadow. In Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord has heard and answered us. Shout the Lord and say amen. Shout the Lord most say amen. amen. We're going to proceed in explosive and exciting praise. But all over the world, people are gathered. We have whole churches. Royal House of Prayer, all the way in Desert State, gathered right now. We have Dunamis International Gospel Center, Nairobi, Kenya. Joining in Commander Demon Prayer. As, 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 as they are praying for their crusade in Kenya, in Nairobi, for the month of May, they are also joining us in prayer tonight. We have people across from all the places, and the Lord bless you, Kenya. Looks like they're not hearing us yet. The Lord bless you. Cause his face to shine upon you and ensure that you, you do all your preparations very well because Nairobi and Kenya shall be saturated with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. And so wake up your friends, your loved ones, and everywhere that we are now. I'm sure in time to come, people shall be connecting like this from all quarters, um, all across our churches in the UK. All right, in Manchester the other day, I, I'm sure they may be connecting right now. The other day, they were gathered together, uh, praying and preparing for the crusade in London that is happening next month. 
in the, 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 the glory conference. They, they had an all night in Manchester church, the choir rehearsing and connecting to the commander day. We had like that everywhere else. And I believe it's a new day. Wake somebody up, right? I'll talk about this shortly. Wake somebody up everywhere you are. Call them up like you just heard. The text message cannot wake a person up. It takes a phone call to wake a person up. And let's celebrate before we step into the personal supplications. Let's go. Hallelujah. Why are they sitting the street in all the English? Oh yeah, lost in your love. Your eyes are the beautiful forever. Jehovah. Shout out, praise. Give him the clap of hands as you take your seat, my presence of the Lord, as we take the testimonies, for our testimonies before we go into the personal supplication. Salama from Kaduna. I declared on the first day of February in 2024, during the command the day midnight prayer, that I shall testify in this month of February. I constantly kept writing it under the comment session, and I've come to return all the glory to God. On the last day of February, my mom was diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2023. And throughout the year, all we did was focus on her treatment. There were a lot of frustrations. We prayed, cried, but we honestly saw God's hand throughout her treatment, which involved chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and brachytherapy. The doctors told us last week that they would have to do a surgery to remove her womb. To avoid any recurrence, reoccurrence. We got to the hospital a day before the surgery and got admitted. But when the doctors came that evening to examine her, in preparation for the surgery the next day in the morning, they said there is nothing there at all. And that there was no need for the surgery as the tumor had been completely destroyed by chemo radiation. That's how we packed our bags and went home. I've been praying for a complete healing of the cancer for my mom and God has done it. I return all glory, honor, and praise to God and I'm very grateful for the immense growth in my spiritual life through this prayer platform. There shall be more testimonies from my personal prayer supplication to God in this new month in Jesus' name. It shall never return forever in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Sister Agatha E.O. from Niger State. Above only greetings, I've been experiencing heavy bleeding and blood clotting at my age of 64. Due to fibroid, the doctor had recommended a surgical operation to remove my womb but i declined this has been a, a bother to me i took supplements that are supposed to shrink the fibroid and stop the bleeding but the bleeding never ceased it comes with terrible internal heat yesterday i finally made up my mind to go for surgery during the commander day mean i pray the 28th of february the senior pastor declared saying thank you lord for visiting agatha the embargo is lifted off your life he went further to say i cancel every utterance of man that says you will not amount to anything in life I shouted a big amen as this was exactly my case. Many years ago, my brother-in-law made this utterance to me. And since then, it has been from one challenge to the other. I thank God for this deliverance and I believe that it is indeed a new day for me. I'll come back to testify with more evidence of the manifestation of this word of God in my life. Give the Lord a praise for that declaration. Agatha, visiting Elvis and Duru and Cyprian in the name that is above every name. I declare today the embargo is lifted off your life. The spell is broken. That verdict, the names I mentioned, that utterance of man 
against your life the verdict that you heard that they said you cannot be this and you cannot be that you cannot achieve this that verdict is cancelled give the lord a praise hallelujah and you are free and you are completely free and whole in jesus name somebody give the lord the praise mrs faith from benway calvary greetings to all the commanding the day night prayer crew and family i've been trusting god for my son whom the devil attacked from death he was lifeless at birth but came back to life via the tongue of fire so at age one he started having this demonic seizure which retarded his growth now can we give the lord a big clap of hand for that first testimony he came back to life from by the tongues of fire at birth all right the demonic seizure retarded his growth and even led to thought paralysis and he couldn't walk on time until one year 10 months he started walking but doesn't have stability and cannot stand by himself until he's aided to stand i've been trusting god for divine intervention in my son's life Ola, ola, ola. on the 23rd of february 24 my son's word came during the worship word and wonders night commanding the day prayers senior pastor took authority over seizure disorder and commanded that every form of seizure expires now and i shouted amen at the top of my voice and placed my hand on my son brethren the next day my two-year-old son who has never stood up by himself stood up and began to walk by himself hallelujah i also noticed some changes in him like his understanding is coming back and i don't want to take it for granted i trust god for total restoration and perfection in the life of my son in jesus name this prayer altar is really working all praise god somebody give him the praise and declaration attached Healing seizure disorder. Every form of seizure disorder expire now in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. It expires in Jesus' name. Let's proceed further. Wow. Mrs. Leticia Nipembe, Namibia. Greeting to the Commander Day Midnight Prayer family. I was introduced to this platform by my son on the 18th of February. 2024 and never miss one session i've been suffering from urinary incontinence since 2013 whereby each and every day for the past 10 years i wore sanitary pads as the urine was continuously flowing on the 17th of february 2024 i gave my supplication of this affliction to the commander day in prayer behold my father in heaven located my case through his servant pastor paul and angel when he said i see a woman wearing pampas I don't know what, to, what led to the wearing of it because of urina, urinary incontinence. Urine is flowing without control. Right now, I declare the bladder against control. And tonight shall be the end of your affliction. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. I shouted a louder amen. Hey! Indeed, it was the end of it. I removed the sanitary pad immediately to see if I will wake up the next morning dry. Brethren, till today and forever, there has not been any leakage. The urinary incontinence ceased instantly. I give God, I give Almighty God glory. This is 2013 to 2024. That is 11 solid years. Declaration. I see a woman with adult pampas. I don't know what is real. What led to you? We are in that because urinary incontinence, urine is flowing without control. Right now, I declare the bladder regains control, and tonight is the end of the affliction. Shout the loudest, Amen. Wow, wow, that name was mentioned. Was it yesterday? I like us to try and look it because I remember that name also mentioned again yesterday. Urinary incontinence died after 11 years. Somebody stand up on your feet and let us celebrate God for one more minute. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Restoration of all things. Oh.
Go ahead and take the next 90 seconds. Appreciate God and trust for all the testimonies we heard and then proceed with your supplication. Father, we give you the praise. Long ago, long ago, but all the count was said long ago. But the record is clear today that he washed my sins away. But all the count was settled long ago. Long ago. In the name of Jesus. God, 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 I can was settled. Oh, God. Lift up your hands everywhere you are. As we trust God for the restoration of all things. Hands lifted in appreciation and expectation.
Lift your hands. Jesus Christ is Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll come before you tonight expecting total resp restoration and the restoration of all things. We just heard a testimony of document that was missing, property document, lost, forgotten, inside a dilapidated shelf for over a year outside the house. And it was still found. We have discovered and confirmed that with you, nothing is too lost to be found. Lord, I prophesy today, everything that is missing, that is lost in the life of your son and your daughter, I declare it found right now. I declare it restored right now. I declare release right now. Let us say to Viago Almakasidi, the Allah Utabi. What the devil has denied you, what the devil has deprived you, what has been the portion of others effortlessly, like that Jesse in the US that the devil deprived and denied you. I stand by the mantle and fire of the Holy Ghost and I declare today, they are released. In the name of Jesus, they are released. Let the parada the liar the la 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 hurata sada the la la ta sida da. Let us see. I declare your favor released. I declare your finances released. I declare your fruit of the womb released. In the name of Jesus, in the name I declare your life partner released, your wife released, your husband released. In the name of Jesus, restoration. name has a m and has k inside tonight is your night the waiting is over the delay is over the release has come if you are saying amen say it loud amen that place you submitted your application they will soon send for you that 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 property issue that has been lingering the matter is settled and yours is released Yes, that's right. There is that realm of operation God showed you. You are not looking for money or a physical thing. But you are trusting God for something spiritual. You are trusting God for a grace, a mantle. I declare, receive your release right now. In the name of Jesus. It's part of the name. Mahustavi. Like a spironaga zalagaya taratosi, like a tema galara tasata kakalayado, rota skefa. What God has released in the realm of the spirit, you saw it already, but the devil has been delaying it and preventing it from entering your hands. I declare its release now. Itana galefe reina galakana gagaratata. I see financial resources that are held back by the powers of hell. Release, release to you now. In the name of Jesus. From Irua, you are asking God to give you a visitation. I declare the Lord touch you right where you are in the name of Jesus. I declare deliverance in that hospital setting. Come out. I declare the paralysis arrested. I declare the breathing restored. I declare the breathing restored. Let Perene Kesoni Gela Rata Savagadala, Lata Tena Dagalaya Turana Dagalaya Lala Loro Salalala, AGB AJA AGB AJA is right inside. Is that the full name of the name or right inside the name? I see just one letter in front of that AGB AJA. Wakopa Ratani Galarata Sido, La Costa Ferrena Cacala Canada, that occultic manipulation. Wherever that altar where they took you to, hey, I declare that altar is set on fire, is set on fire, is set on fire. What the forces of hell, what the powers of witchcraft and the occult have attempted to do against your life and your destiny, 
Master Kela Gayadara is retrieved and refired back to hell. Master, I declare the charm done against your career, done against your health. It will not work anymore. And I speak to everyone connected, connected, related, associated. Every altar where they took your name to. Are you ready for this? Everywhere they took your name to. By charm, I declare that altar set on fire. Somebody shout fire. Upper chest and back. Healed. Right kidney healed. Liver disease is healed. While same our Catalani Garedu Gogala Uratosi is healed. Lift your voice and say, I receive my total healing. I receive my total wholeness. In the name of Jesus, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS is healed. Name starts with a J, like a Julie. I declare it healed. And everybody connected everywhere you are watching from all over the world. And you are having a female reproductive system challenge. It is over forever. As was declared the other day. It will go to the laboratory and it will tell you pregnancy has already happened even today in the name of jesus somebody connected from arkansas in america the reason why you are hearing this is to be sure that god is locating you where you are and everywhere you are around the world god is locating you right now let the pita karata kadida i see a high jump it's like trying what they call hurdles that they used to run in secondary school i see the devil place plenty of feet in front of you and i declare today you are not going to be crossing hurdles and hurdles from one to another to another i declare you are jumping straight to your next level and no devil shall stop you i speak to someone here today every hurdle the devil has placed in front of your professional life as a lawyer professional life as a medical doctor professional life as an accountant or whatever else you do for a living as a sports person that hurdle is collapsed right now i declare you are moving to the next level shout the loudest say amen that king soft person looks like a professional like a lawyer or a doctor or something i declare today the hurdle is over the hurdle is over all the way from Cameroon, B A N D. I don't know the full band band. Just B. I know it has the B, the A, and the D. Ora kopa talakani kaka la yada da 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 da. Ora koko pa kata kala kaka da 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 da. Ja koko pa kata kala da 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 da. I speak against the 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 altars of the mountains. Hey, let the parataka zagadada, the altars of the mountains, tying down whole communities, anti-marital altars, let human sacrifice. I take authority over these altars. I declare them set on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. And you are from where I'm talking about, and your balete ferrete sada, and you are plagued with the spirit of fear, and plagued with the spirit of premature death, and plagued with the spirit of failure at the age of breakthrough. I declare it is broken right now and i'm not go just going to speak to that place i speak to everyone connected all around the world everywhere they have placed everywhere there is a mountain there is an altar there is a high place a witchcraft authority fighting your father's house fighting your family fighting the progress of your community somebody scream fire and as i speak there is somebody who is a victim of the spirit of vengeance you are trying to stand up for your family stand up for your father's house stand up for your community like the only serious person and serious with god serious with with prayer serious to serve god like a moses like the one that will, will be used to bring out every other person like the one that will be used to show other people the road and the devil say who are you to be in that position and he wants to plague you with affliction and he wants to plague you with reproach and he wants to give you the opposite of your profession of faith i declare today that spirit of vengeance yeah that is what it's called is the spirit of vengeance trying to fight you for standing for god for trying to deliver the orders that spirit of vengeance is set on fire I decree, I decree your release now. I decree your release now. 
I decree your release now. That string diagnosis the devil gave you, I declare it arrested right now. I declare your freedom right now. I declare your release right now. I declare your liberty right now. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. And as I speak to you, you are, you are, you are Moses literally in terms, in terms of name. Yeah, Parodara, somebody in this category, there are many like that. But less of a rota kakazarada. I declare the arrow that hooks your chest is retrieved and returned back to hell in the name of Jesus. Allergies. Allergies to smoke, to dust. Food allergies. It's just being cleared out. Allergies include asthma including water on the body that makes you to begin to itch is arrested i curse the plague of nightmare nightmare so terrible you are afraid to sleep in the night even this night you are asking the lord please help me from this thing you don't want the night to come because no matter how much you do you 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 you, you close your eyes and it is nightmares and you're asking the Lord, why is this still nightmares? I just finished commanding the day. That devil is a bastard liar. I take authority over that witch, that devil, that wizard. Every altar from where they organize your nightmares from. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. Tonight you shall sleep. And sleep in peace. And you sleep where you want. That plague of insomnia is arrested. That plague of nightmare is gone. That useless spirit husband that will not allow you to rest. The next time he comes against you, you will stab him to death. The next time he comes against you, you will pluck off that useless demonic equipment that they use against your life. The next time he comes against you, you will you will bury them alive somebody shout power spirit husband that is almost combined with a, a mental condition you are not mad but you know the pressure on your life can it's almost as if he wants to run you mad today it is arrested and returned back to hell that headache that looks like you won't sleep Today is the end of it. In the name of Jesus. And right now, I see the fire of God coming upon somebody where your life is literally becoming a no-go area. Lift your two hands. As I speak now, I see thousands. Wherever you are watching, you are going to come under power. When I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream, I receive. One, two, three, you scream, fire, and place your hand on your head. Ensure that you are standing and Located in a good place. God is going to practically ignite you on fire. So that from henceforward, when the devil appears in your, in your dream life, what you will see is fire, not just a person. Father, let it be. That fire is going to be a fire of, 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 of intercession. It's going to be a fire of evangelism. It's going to be a fire of, 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 of preservation that will run the devil back to hell. Are you ready for that fire? Father, let the fire come upon that man, come upon that woman, and set and set every devil looking for them on fire. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream fire. And place your hand on your head. Yeah, there, 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 there's going to be, there's going to be, even those of you watching in Kenya, get ready. Power is going to come upon you. Led to Sakadagala. I see several of you, up to 10, 15, just on that power. Even right here. Father, let the fire fall. Lift up your two hands. Father, let the fire fall. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire fall. In the name of Jesus. Receive an impartation of fire. In the name of Jesus. One, two, and three. Fire. Receive. Yes, sir. Take. Receive. Receive the visitors. Let it flow. Let it fire. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
Yes, 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 that's right, that's right. Receive it there, receive it, receive it right here. Receive it across the airways in your houses. Yes, 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 all the way. Lita Kaba, everyone connected. Take the fire, receive the fire, receive the fire, receive. That will, that's right, help her right there. Even right there in the Nairobi. <sighs> that mantle. That's right. You need, that's right. To deliver your father's house. It's right upon you. To deliver your father's house. <sighs> Take it. Take it. Take it. <sighs> Power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's help him there. Help him there. Help her right there. Her shadow now. To deliver your father's house. To deliver your father's house. To deliver your father's house. To deliver your community. To deliver your school. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands everywhere you are. Something just dropped. That's right. That's right. Lift your hands high. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the praise. In Jesus' precious name. Lift your hands high. It's a new season for you. It's a new day for you. May this new day become the beginning of new things for you. This second day of March 2024 we are back in the evening making presentations of our expectation for the month of March. We put it in right. Before the month of March is over Lord I am expecting this. So what we want to connect is divine favor and acceptance to take full delivery of what belongs to us in March. Today, Father in the Lord, God's servant that is you, is 82 years old. Today is his birthday. God brought him all these years and we pray for him we pray that God will cause him to fulfill everything he has in mind for him in the land of the living strength health energy wisdom vision somebody everybody say loud amen may the purpose of God for his life never expire he will not diminish in strength in health in energy and in results until his time is up. Amen. And we connect with the same grace and the same oil upon his life in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Before today is over, just say one word. 
on his behalf. His life, his assignment, his ministry, his family, and everything that pertains to him. And we believe that as we pray and we connect, that God will cause the same grace to flow upon us. Say a loud amen. Everyone in London, England, we are there with you next month. As next month, yeah. It's one month now. The month of April. We're in London, England. I thought you place a clip on the screen. And here we are at the Glory Conference, the 11th and 12th of April, 2024, OVO Arena, Wembley in London. Explosive. The time is already here. Don't wait. Ensure you are registered. Ensure you are registered to be a volunteer. Ensure you are registered to be a worker there. And also inform all your friends. People are coming from America, from Canada. They already booked their flight for this London program. People are coming from all over Africa and other parts of the world. So those of you in Europe, don't be left out. And especially in London, England, book the time. We're also in Kaduna in, in, in Nigeria here. This particular month, which is the 24th. This particular month. 21st, 22nd at the Amodu Bello Stadium. It just centered in Kaduna. Inform you all your friends in Kaduna and all of them, all in the north central Nigeria, even the northwest, all the way from Sokoto, from um, Katsina, Zamfaran, Jigawa. No, Jigawa is here. Jigawa is that side. All right, Tano also. We expect all of you to come forward here. I've forgotten one now. Niger and then Birinin Gwari. Kebi State. That's right. Ensure that you are all there and pull from all the locations and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Month of May, we are there then in Kenya and in Ethiopia together. From Kenya to Ethiopia. Is that right? Ethiopia to Kenya. All right. 13th to 14th May in Ethiopia uh, and then the next one is Nairobi, Kenya. And it's going to be explosive. I know that the time will come when you will have enough strength and stature to go for all these crusades because you are self-employed and you are also uh, an employer of labor. You have your own time so you can move anytime you want. I believe that it's a great time. All in those areas, prepare for them and we trust that God will help us in Jesus' name. I'm sure Kenya, do all you can to ensure that you compel everyone from Mombasa all the way to even Kampala, Uganda. And, and, and Ugandans have been taking asking us what did we do against them don't worry uganda will, will soon be your turn in the precious name of jesus god bless you lift up your hands everyone the lord bless you and keep you everyone watching in need of surrender to jesus forgiveness of your sins place your hand on your chest and pray after me and say lord jesus i am a sinner in need of your help come into my life make me a new person today i have decided to follow you lord no turning back forward ever backward never Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. You pray that prayer you meant it. Please let us know that you did. Details are on the screen. Then stretch your two hands in front of you. Hands are blessed. Your resources will look for you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody shout the loudest amen. Church work, first meeting, 9 a.m. Please ensure uh, impartation service and convocation. Everyone around the world, ensure you are connected at that time. God bless you. Celebrations. In Jesus' name. Listen.